Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The email purchase and pricing question line from you to me and my hand-picked crew. Your questions about buying this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing the second-generation Vacheron Constantin Overseas Chronograph, this model known as the Deep Stream. 42.2 millimeters in stainless steel with a blasted titanium bezel. The watch is remarkable only 12.5 millimeters thick and from lug to lug the watch measures a reasonable 50.7 millimeters with a bracelet that you can pull straight down around a small wrist and I'm going to show you how well this generation 2 chrono though 42.5 and borderline oversized it is a thin watch and narrow across the wrist as you can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist it doesn't even approach the edge as the lugs bend down and around so you can see it arcs around on both sides rather than flaring out awkwardly and because the bracelet is supple, smooth, and pulls straight down. It's comfortable and secured. It's an organic fit, and I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. The bracelet is brilliant and beautiful. Let's go to the tape. As you can see, it's fixed in place by screws and bars, not spring bars. That's the first thing I like, more secure than spring bars. The second thing I like, every individual link, and that on both sides of the bracelet, removable, to get the perfect size on your wrist. You'll also note that a la Patek and Audemars Piguet, we have a high degree of hand finishing with the detailing exquisite. You can see the expanding bevel of the case runs perfectly aligned along the shoulders of the links, the outer faces of high polish, and then you can see that the inner facets are actually manually polished to give them a high gloss contrast to the satin finish of the tops of the bracelet. You'll also note the recurring Maltese cross motif in the bracelet. Vacheron wants you to remember its iconic corporate logo. You can see the Maltese cross, a twin trigger deployment clasp, and note how clever. You have one cross, and then you actually have the form of the cross's flanks built into the pushers. So twin trigger, this one cannot accidentally pop open. The case is substantial. As you can see, polished in profile, satin finished on its top. It features a lovely set of chronograph pusher shoulders in contrasting gray titanium. Uh, the pushers are screwed down. The crown is screwed down. You can see the Maltese cross logo as well as a slash cut pattern here designed to evoke the cross. These are screw downs, all three of them. So the watch is 150 meters water resistant. Now I mentioned there is a media blasted titanium bezel that contrasts nicely with the steel of the case and it perfectly matches the anthracite sunburst of the dial. So it's a sunburst. You can see it's a metallic polished chapter rings. Note that there's a symmetry calculated symmetry here. The chronograph minutes register is larger. You'll also note that it is jumping chronograph minutes with a high horology caliber inside. We'll talk about that in a moment. White gold applique indices and as you can see blackened hands in high polished contrast against the base. We have a flange outboard for reading fractions of seconds as well as minutes and then we have an applique white gold Vacheron cross at 12 and a double digit date with a faceted aperture so it's not a sheer cut. It's a nice gradual slope down from the dial to the date disc. So there is a quick set system for the double digit date, which is Vacheron's own module. Underneath the case back, which features the image of the Italian naval training vessel Amerigo Vespucci, we have the Vacheron Caliber 1137, which is a high horology Frédéric Piguet 1185. Automatic winding with unidirectional action for efficiency. It's a 40 hour power reserve, a 21,600 vibration per hour beat rated as a quick set, though not a hacking seconds. It features both a vertical clutch and a column wheel. The column wheel making the actuation very crisp, and it is a traditional architecture, and the vertical clutch ensuring that when you start and you stop the chronograph, it has a very smooth action. There is no jump to the chronograph seconds hand when you start it. It just commences without jumping. You can also leave the chronograph running because of the vertical clutch system with no additional wear, tear, or hazard to the movement. Not only that, but the 37 Jewel Caliber features a high horology manual finish courtesy of Frédéric Piguet, which these days is known as Manufacture Blancpain, and it is adjusted in five positions, the premium watch standard for high horology. Now, because you have this solid case back, you must wonder why. Well, it's because there is a soft iron cage that encircles the movement front and back. Like a Rolex Milkhouse, that endows the watch with anti-magnetic properties, whereas a ISO standard anti-magnetic watch is resistant to 4,800 ampere per meter. This case is actually resistant to 25,000, so considerably more resilient, 150 meters water resistant and highly anti-magnetic. Note the satin finish around the edge. The 
radial sunburst-like finish on the crown, and then there's a lovely granular finish underneath the ship with raised, relieved, and polished features for the sea and the vessel itself. A gorgeous watch, and one whose dial balance, especially the double-digit date, is much missed on the third generation overseas. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Vacheron Overseas by Night. Plenty of loom.